Hey, I'm Seth with Land the House. Thank you so much for tuning back in to another shed build series video. Today I'm going to be installing the metal roof here on the shed. I had some 17 foot metal pieces given to me from a friend and so I've cut those in half to give us the 8 foot and 6 inches we need for the roof. I've also purchased a couple of these rake trim and ridge cap. So what we're going to be doing is starting on this end here where the little awning is and we will just work our way back that way. And so, because I cut these pieces in half, I want to match up the same on the front side. So, for instance, the rough metal edge is here on this piece. And then if you go to the next one, that's the uh, smooth metal edge. So, I want to make sure I put those two pieces in the correct orientation here on the front. Let's go ahead and get started with this installation. Quick disclaimer, I am not a professional, just a homeowner with a YouTube channel building my shed. So just watch this for entertainment purposes and contact a professional before you begin your own build. The first thing I wanna do is haul a couple pieces of this up onto the roof. I'm gonna use my 12 foot ladder over here to hopefully make this process fairly easy. This weighs a lot less than that half inch OSB I was carrying before, so it shouldn't be too difficult. The screws that I'm putting in now are going into the trusses and holding this down nice and tight. I'm going to come back after everything is on here and fill in all the gaps to make sure that all of the metal is on here securely. I now have the metal roof all the way to the end of the building, 
but I wasn't sure what I wanted on the back as far as overhang support goes. So I decided to just copy what I have on the front and do the exact same thing. Well, I've got the posts here, the four by fours that support this little overhang and it is doing quite nicely. So I have the metal roof all the way to this point right here and it's time to extend it on over. Now I don't think it's gonna need a full piece to get to the edge, so we will have to bring out the angle grinder and bring that down some. So let's go ahead and hop up here and get the last piece on this side and see about cutting down what we need for the end. And then we'll be working on the rake trim, which goes on this edge here. And then we have the ridge cap and we will be done. Totally done with the full sheets of metal. Let's see what we need to finish up this last little porch section. So if we go from the edge to this little overlap, we need 26 inch right here at the top. Let me scoot down this way just a little bit and see how consistent I was. This looks like 25 inch there. So definitely off some which could be either my awning is off or my metal is off, one or the other. And then over here, I can tell I have more down there than up here. Let's see where we're at. So 25 up here. And well, 25 and a half, so not by too much. Okay, I have four scrap pieces of metal that have been in the woods for several years. I need to cut down to, I think I'm gonna do 26 inch on uh, all of it. And then I need to make sure I have eight and a half feet long. So let me grab the angle grinder and we will cut this down. I looked a little bit closer and these three pieces are all that I have. But luckily this one is uh, six foot and a few inches. And I've got a five foot and a six foot. So if I play this just right, we will have exactly what we need and I may just shrink that side um, back just a little bit to make sure we have enough of an overlap in those pieces. But okay, so what I want to do is keep uh, this edge right over here. So I'm going to measure out, let's see where 26 inches rests here. So if I measure all of that, uh, 26 inch comes right there. I think that'll be just fine. So what I'm going to do is um, on the edge of each one, I'm going to cut off that strip on all of these, and then I will cut the five foot one almost totally in half to give me what I need for this project. I just wrapped up getting those pieces on, overlapped about four inches from one piece to the other, and it wound up turning out uh, pretty good, I thought. Um, was able to get it down to the same level as before. The ridge cap has plenty of space, so it will be able to span that gap, no problem. I'm also using the foam up here so that the rain and bugs won't be able to get back up into that. Okay, I do need to go on the back side over there and cinch that down with some screws before we get our um, other rake trim on. Do remember that there's no support under those pieces right now, so uh, if you're following me along with this build, don't stand on that or on the front over there. Now it's time for the rake trim. That's the trim that goes here on the very front and back of the building. And I've got that, it's like a, a V-shaped channel right here. Let me go ahead and bring this up. <laughs> Hope you're not afraid of heights. Uh, all right, so this probably should have a, a fascia board here on the front that's a bit longer than this, or at least uh, two by six material, but Anyway, I'm going to make it work. So I'm going to come up here to the top where it is just making that corner. And then down there at the bottom, it's going to have a little extra overlap. But, and then from here, I'm just going to screw this in using the same metal screws that we've been using.
my light's almost gone for the day, but I want to go ahead and get the ridge cap installed, or at least a portion of it. So this is about a foot and a couple inches here, and it just covers the entire ridge. And I've got another piece that is going to be too long, but I'll probably just overlap them so it'll all work out well. I have this foam here, which will go on top of the metal and then kind of squish down underneath this metal piece. And it will just prevent water from backing up in there and also any bugs. So let's go ahead and get this down and we will install this ridge cap. So I want the top of the building to be right where this is, of course. So I'm just going to, I guess, take a pencil and mark where that is going to be. I'm sure there's some really technical way of doing this, but I just want to make sure that I keep my foam in the right spot. Move that out of the way. And so this stuff just has this adhesive on one side. And you just simply set that down over the metal and let it stick down. Probably would be best to have clean metal, but you know what? I don't have time for that. <laughs> so I'm just going to go through here and get this set in place. This stuff also has little tabs and slots so you can link it all together. Just for now, I put a screw in every other rib to hold this down. And then this last three feet or so, I didn't put anything because that's where the other um, section will go to finish this off. Well, um, that is basically all I'm gonna do for installing the metal roof here. I'm gonna go back and finish up all of the foam that is underneath this side. And then I'm going to put a whole bunch of screws in here to make sure it's all locked down nice and tight. I'm gonna finish this piece here. I've got the two raker trim in the back and it will be done. So I will show you what it looks like here whenever I get everything finished. And the roof is complete. I think it turned out amazing. There are a couple things I want to point out that I should have done differently. Uh, but other than that, I think it is a pretty good build. So first thing I would have done differently, see right here how there is an untreated board exposed to the elements. Not good. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and add some uh, fascia board in here. So I'll have to remove at least this screw. Uh, this board here is treated and so is this one right here, but this is not. So there's going to be a fascia board on this side over here. And so I'll just have to remove this screw quickly and add something up under here, maybe a hardy board or you know, the concrete siding um, so that that is not exposed. As far as keeping the roof line even, it did really well. Um, so from here on, it did perfectly until I got to about midway and then I started getting a little bit off and some of that is because my cut on the metal roof wasn't perfect but anyway a couple of those are off doesn't bother me much I was able to get this done back here and I put the ridge cap on before I put the rake trim back here and so let me step up here on this ladder and show you what should have been done differently See how I've got that big gap right there? What I should have done is pull up the ridge cap and the foam, scoot it in like I did the other one over there so it would match up. But I didn't, so I will have to find some way of working around that little issue. Um, also, wanted to show you what I did here. So I used this one piece here and then have a seam right there. And there's six or so inches of overlap on that. 
as well as on this other side. If there's a leak right there, it is just going to be under the porch. So I don't see that it's gonna be any real issue. And of course it does have that underlayment. But as you can see, everything has turned out well. I've got the foam up under there, which should keep some insects and water out. And the metal roof is done. This is the one step I was really looking forward to getting done, and I am so thankful that it is finished. If you've enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe, ring that notification bell so you can find the updates to this shed build, and leave me a comment down below telling me what you think about this metal roof. All right, I will see you in the next video. Bye.